Thanks for stopping by. Uh, you're probably wondering, where have you been? Well, a lot's been going on. We recently, just a uh, couple of days ago, got some incredibly good news here. So we haven't been able to bring you as many things as we wanted to because part of it was that we wanted to wait until we got the word. And the word was about a $10 million downtown revitalization grant that was just awarded to our village of Homer, New York. Woohoo! Oh, boy, are we excited and do we need that. A lot of it is allocated to all kinds of different needs and purposes in this village, but we hope that some of it is going to come to us here at the former uh, Calvary Episcopal Church here on the Village Green in Homer, which is going to be repurposed into the Homer Cultural Center, a branch of the Homer Center for the Arts. We are hoping, please, uh, for a portion of it that will, at the very least, get us the money to be able to stabilize the building, the foundation. That is the one thing that is holding us up from getting a certificate of occupancy so that we can begin all kinds of other things to do with this building. But we gotta have that one done first. So because Homer got this incredible grant that is going to do, as I say, so many other things in the village, we are hoping that a portion of it will be allocated to us. Uh, we have been told it will, but we just don't know how much. And how much really, <laughs> that's the key. How much is it gonna take to really get this whole building up and done? Well, that's a lot. But the foundation, at the very least, uh, would get us going. So we're hoping for that, and as soon as we get the flat-out financial numbers for you, we will tell you. Some of the other reason that we have been gone for a while is that Brian and I, Brian's my partner in this whole endeavor uh, and our videographer, uh, we've been having some horrible technical problems, and we are picky enough. Thankfully, I wound up with a partner that is just as picky as I am. We do not want to bring you stuff that we were not happy with, and some of that had to do with our sound it kept cutting in and out. We didn't have the right kind of equipment, as good a quality of equipment that we wanted. We do now. So we had to scrap two uh, interviews that we did, one with our village historian, Martin Sweeney, and another one with Paula Fry, who was our organ specialist, and she played some beautiful stuff on this organ. We thought it all came out great until we got into the cutting room and it was a horror, and not her fault, it was our technical problems. We have since corrected that kind of stuff, so we're gonna bring back Martin again, bless his heart, and Paulette as well. They have been gracious enough and kind enough and understanding enough to also appreciate that we did not want to present them in anything less than appropriate to their talents. So, they're coming back. So we're great and happy for that. And, I can't forget about this, because Brian would say, Kim, don't forget, the Center for the Arts, kind of our partner in this whole thing, because as I've mentioned before, this building is going to be uh, connected to the Center for the Arts. They have a wonderful sound crew of guys over there. We've got Zach, Brent, Ethan, Isaiah. Those four guys, they all are sound guys. They're going to school for sound. They do it professionally. They're gonna come and help us. We finally needed that extra hand to Pay attention to all the things that Brian and I can't do because we're either behind the camera or in front of the camera. That extra set of hands is going to make a big difference in the quality of what we bring you. So, I don't know, did I cover everything? Did I cover everything? I think you got everything. Hey, <laughs> okay. Well, that's where, where we are. That's why we've been gone. And so we're going to just present you with this one. So we ask one uh, other thing of you. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Give us your comments, give us your support. Stay with us. That is very, very important to us. And also, we ask for your forgiveness, I guess, because we had a lot of calls from people saying, where are you? Well, now you know. You know why we weren't here and where we've been and what it is we're trying to do. So once again, thank you for your support. Stick with us, please. And after this one, we hope uh, that we will be able to bring you the quality of Martin Sweeney our village historian, and the beautiful organ playing of Paulette Fry. And after that, ooh, then the good stuff, the construction company is actually going to come in, if all the money comes through, to start the amazing construction and restoration of this foundation. 
I've been looking at the video on that and it is just wicked cool. The weird funky stuff that they do, you're gonna love to watch. Also the restoration of the buildings. We have spoken to the people who are going to take these beautiful windows out of here to protect them and restore them. And you're gonna be amazed at the quality of what they do and how tricky it is to save buildings like this and windows like this. So we got a lot of fun stuff coming. So stay with us, please come back, hit subscribe, and that way we can notify you what we're doing, all right? Thank you much, bye.